Feeling. Ja, 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 ja. Ah, wieso das so? A cipher. A place where people come together to express themselves in a form of a collective. A place where it defines 360 degrees of energy being shared. And the experience emanates an authentic feeling and vibration that people get to experience for the first and last time. Welcome to the transformative experience and power of the cipher. The cipher comprises of components that unify, connect, educate, uplift, and elevate each individual that participates in its energy. Gifts. Gifts is one of those components found in a cycle, where young people use their various talents to be able to find ways to build, restore, reconnect, and reevaluate, also re envision the future of their communities. A lot of so much of Wisdom. The power of appreciating our ancestral contribution to our existence here, giving us the ability to be able to look back, to evaluate where we've come from and how we could reflect on the future. Spirit, the power to experience transformative energy and watch it create among us a living experience that gives us the opportunity to see beyond the physicality. Unity, the power of appreciating community through shared values. Understanding that our differences make us stronger and that when we come together, we are able to create new things that we can actually be able to promote among our children, our communities, our mothers, our elders, that strengthen the future that we all want to come. Gratitude. Gratitude is fundamental in seeing young people who apply themselves in a cipher develop an appreciation and a love for a community that they serve. You know, and when it's grounded in the concept of them seeing that the community appreciates them, it elevates the dynamic for everyone involved to be able to see how they serve one another. Community. A place where service is driven to show how we all connect with each other, where both the young and the old are able to envision the world that we all want to live in and choose to make those profound choices of contributing to humanity.
Voice, the most authentic gift given to humanity, giving us the capacity to be able to represent ourselves, our identity, and speak out to tell our own stories. The future of the cipher lies between each practitioner who engages in its elements and is able to explore its attributes and how they contribute to he or she in how they see and value their expression. So the future of the cipher will always be a spiritual ground to channel and reconnect people to the divine force within them that allows them to manifest and create during their time here on planet Earth. <laughs> Uh, feel free to give a round of applause for the short documentary. So thanks so much, everybody, for coming out early on a Sunday. Uh, for the Millennium Stage, we're super excited to be here with the Barubuka All-Stars uh, to talk a little, bit about, a little bit about the work that they're doing in Uganda um, and some of the work we've done here in the United States and throughout um, the continent. Uh, let's first begin by having each of you introduce yourselves. Uh, my name's uh, Stan Slash Saja Beach in Tumukasa Balobyekubo, also known as Babaluku the Artist. <laughs> Anybody want to repeat that? <laughs> <laughs> my name is Okai. Uh, I am a vocalist and percussionist. My name is Daniel Gilbert Buete, the EG Pop archivist. So uh, my name is Mazi Mutafa. I'm the executive director of a nonprofit based here in Washington, D.C. called Words, Beats, and Life. And uh, our relationship with the, Bu with the Bavubuka Foundation goes back seven years. We were invited to come and visit them nine years ago. Um, and it took us two years to find the funding to get there. Um, let's talk a little bit about this video we just saw. So for folks that are not super familiar, out of curiosity, how many people by show of hands had heard of a cipher before that video? Like. 12 of you, okay. So it's interesting, you're in America and you're gonna teach Americans about, about hip hop. <laughs> so why don't we talk a little bit about some of the, some of the concepts that you, that you went into in the video and how it is that that plays out in the work you've done um, in Kampala, but also in Gulu and also working with, with brothers and sisters throughout the continent. Uh, uh, first and foremost, we'd like to thank everyone who's here participating in this dialogue. Uh, thank you for coming out to be a part of the community. Uh, Secondary, uh, the work we've been doing uh, has been uh, work, grassroots work in the continent where we explore how we work with young creatives to really express themselves. How do we find an authentic platform for the authenticity they all bear? And uh, when we talk about the cypher, I personally, I started as an MC. Uh, I w I've been in hip hop, I'm still an MC today but I've kind of evolved into a community builder, you know, someone who sees uh, the larger concept within the gift. So, but Vubuka really uh, became that place or that home where we wanted to empower not only young people in Uganda, but every participant in hip hop culture to deepen the understanding of the transformative power in it. You know, how it changes us, how it evolves us to be individuals who care about things that matter to us, uh, giving us a platform really to know that we could be the change we see in the communities or the change we desire. 
So all of these young people you see in the videos uh, participating, they're leaders. They're not just young people making up a crowd. They're leading different villages, different towns, and they have programs that they're running. But as a collective, we emanate this energy we call the circle or the cipher. And in within the cipher, you've seen the gifts, you've seen the wisdom, uh, you've seen, you know, the, the way they come together to re-envision, you know, what they want their community to be. And I think that that's the power of hip-hop culture, that when you look from an indigenous perspective, it's given us a new way we are learning about ourselves to share with, the, with our brothers beyond, you know, just Uganda or just Africa. And so talking about how it is that you all represent um, additions or original um, elements about this idea of bringing the, gem the djembe into the production of music. Can you talk a little bit about your work? How you doing? Once again, I'm Okai. And I, I, I grew up listening to hip hop. And being, being involved in hip hop, I always loved playing percussion. I started on a drum set. But once I got my hands on the djembe, um, I'd like to say it has so many colors, meaning it has so many different sounds, the bass, the high tones, that I, I just wanted to incorporate, co incorporate it in hip hop. Now, uh, no one, I've never really seen anybody else do it like that, uh, but a couple of MCs, but I just found out it was just natural. Um, uh, an uh, 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 instrument being from Africa, um, the hip hop culture coming from um, African Americans, it, was just, it just felt right to just connect the two. So Gilbert, talk to us a little bit about what it means to be a, a hip hop archivist. Um, yeah, my name is Gilbert again. Um, what it means to be a hip hop archivist is to basically be in charge of a person who is actually archiving the stories of what young people are participating in the hip hop culture. And I use the tool of photography. Um, I came in in the Bavubuka Foundation as just a participant. And then as I started, you know, using uh, uh, learning through the f uh, photography workshop, I developed the, uh, the wisdoms and the knowledge of photography. And then um, it became more important for me to actually um, start documenting what young people are doing in communities because uh, they were going rocking on stages. We go uh, represent uh, communities in different events. And so none of that was, you know, uh, being exhibited beyond the communities that we're, that we're going into. And so I took it uh, as my responsibility to start documenting what, we're, what is it that we're doing in Uganda. And then, you know, posting it up on social medias, uh, print a few copies so that even the young people um, who participate get to see their own, um, their own energy when, when they are participating. So just a, a little bit more call and response with the audience, because I see a lot of young people. Out of curiosity, by show of hands, how many of you have a place or a way that you express yourself creatively for the young people? By show of hands, how many of you have a place or a way to express? OK, people that consider themselves young, I see you. All right, all right. <laughs> all right. Um, and this idea of working through culture to empower young people in communities, um, and even the, the role of documentation. So the fact that all of you are here and most of you probably have a smartphone, you're literally able to document what's happening at the Kennedy Center, even though I think they said no flash photography. This idea that you can be an active participant in culture and its preservation is something that Gilbert represents. It's funny, when I met Gilbert, Gilbert actually wasn't a hip hop archivist seven years ago. He was actually a manager of a b-boy crew that was based at his church. So he wasn't even necessarily thinking about how it is that he could tell the story of others. He was looking at how to empower young artists to share their craft through ministry. Um, with that being said, I wonder, talk to us a little bit about, and this is a question for all of you, about the vision for, for your respective work. So I know that um, the work that, that you've been doing, um, Baba, with us goes back seven years. It goes back eight years. How long have you been involved, Gilbert? How many years? Since 2008. So talk about some of the trajectory moving forward. I know that a, a major initiative that you have been focused on is moving away from performance events like this and moving more towards working with builders, talking about leadership and how it is that you can cultivate creatives to become the, the new leaders of, of Uganda. And, and you know, as any practitioner, when you get into the field, like we've been doing that work for, for the past 12 years. 
and you keep on reevaluating and, and, and finding out where is the most impact med. And you see that it's fun when we have a platform to be creative and engage, but it's also another challenge to sustain and, 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 and develop continuity for, for, for that spirit or for that energy. So about three years ago, uh, we decided after uh, a decade of, of serving the community as, as hip-hop builders, we decided to start a, a movement or a retreat that celebrates young leaders who have grown up within hip-hop culture, who serve communities but are barely celebrated or seen. You know, we wanted to find a way to how can we bring them together so they could be encouraged to know that their work is of value, of purpose, and that the community needs them to be in service. You know, instead of being disappointed due to the fact that, you know, no one sees me, no one appreciates what I do, I'm going to quit what I'm doing. So we wanted to develop a circle of encouragement. And to develop that circle of encouragement, we started a retreat called Back to the Source. When we started Back to the Source, it, it, it was, you know, a vision to look at the future of what, why do we do the work? And we felt like... You know, when you hear hip hop, you hear a lot of uh, marginalized communities and its ideologies of looking in, from an inferiority complex about yourself. So it comes from trying to merge a disconnection of some sort. You know, so we said, what is Back to the Source going to represent or be about? And we wanted Back to the Source to start to be an emblem of unity and reconnection. From analyzing and, 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 and taking in the idea that we are a disconnected people. We wanted Back to the Source to be an encouragement for all of us to reconnect to our villages, to reconnect to our cities, to reconnect to the purpose of what we are doing. Like, really to encourage people to know that you still have value within. So speaking of reconnecting, from an African-American point of view, the, the work that you're doing with Bavubuka and beyond, can you talk a little bit about the, wor the work that you're doing that's kind of reflected in the same spirit? Uh, two things that, I, I, that comes to mind that I feel is important is, the first thing is to preserve uh, the authenticity of hip hop. Um, the five elements, uh, DJing, MCing, break dancing, graffiti, and knowledge of self. Because if you don't have knowledge of self, you can't be a true artist. Uh, hip hop started as a peace treaty between gangs in the Bronx. Uh, instead of fighting, uh, let's have a DJ battle. Instead of uh, shooting at each other, let's have an MC battle. Instead of, you know, instead of beefing, let's have a breakdance battle. You know what I mean? So I think we need that more than ever before because, you know, the, you know, the crime rate is just so crazy. And I don't think hip-hop is being represented right. So um, one of the things is for me is to represent it in the right way. And Buvubuka is making that happen in Uganda. The second thing, as a percussionist, um, drums being mostly from Africa, my main thing is to connect um, the African diaspora in the Western Hemisphere. We have, to, we have to come together. That's why I'm always traveling, trying to connect with my peoples in Brazil, my peoples in Cuba, um, all over the Western Hemisphere, in Haiti, Jamaica, always just trying to keep us connected to let them know that we, we're, we're more similar than different, you know? And of course, once we get that happening, then we go, and, you know, we go back to Africa. Yep. And, and just to, you know, connect that to back to the source. So the other thing that Back to the Source is doing today is encouraging scholars, practitioners, leaders, builders, creative individuals to come and connect and be a source of what we like to term as liberating education for young people. A lot of young people are very passionate, whether it's in playing drums, whether it's in emceeing, or whether it's in just teaching, but lack the tools and resources. So what Back to the Source is also like positioning in our, in our space is to always be a point of reach out to invite programs that encourage education. Uh, back to the source major, um, you know, uh, foundational value is really to promote hip hop and education forward. You know, you see a lot of hip hop entertainment, which most of the time is used to degrade hip hop culture. You know, and so we like to push education on, on, on a frontier as a liberating tool for people who are learning about self-service, community service, community development, human-to-human -human relationship, standing in for one another, and bringing us together collectively to always think of a community. I'm a big fan of that audience participation. So out of curiosity, how many of you, when you think about global development, think about the role that arts plays or creativity? It's probably the one that's gotten the most hands so far. Thank you so much. So what do you think are the limits or the limitations, either real or perceived, 
from folks about the power of arts or creativity to transform communities and individual lives? Short answer about that. Through working with kids in detention centers, at-risk students in, in New York City, I find that it's, it's easier for the kids to express themselves rapping over a beat than just asking him a question. You know, say, how do you feel about love? Or, you know, what trauma have you been through? Uh, I find that sometimes, you know, we pick a theme for a song and they just end up putting it in a song without, you know, without even asking them, like really deep stuff that's been buried away. But if you were to just to have a, a simple dialogue and to ask them, they'd be like, no, nah, I don't want to talk about that. That's not cool. You know, I mean, if, if you were thinking about the cycle of a person's development, let's say that that self-expression, because mm -hmm. most of us go to schools that actually don't or are involved in institutions that don't allow us to express ourselves. Mm -hmm. What, what comes after that self-expression? Because a lot of times when people talk, particularly about hip-hop, they talk about the need for people's voices to be heard. But then what comes after my voice is heard? You know what I'm saying? I mean, usually, that's why we like to talk about leadership. You know? It instigates that young person to enjoy that experience of telling their stories. So the sharing, you know, becomes an activator. And that activator becomes a form of energy that when they turn into that energy, they just want to, it to be viral. They want everyone to know about what they're doing. They, they're excited to show you, hey, check out my story, check out my work. Because in that space of being creative, the instigator, um, the instigator, you know, energy within it, it gives these young people the ability to, you know, take off the blinds and break down the walls and be able to really tell their true stories, which, in, you know, which invites them to a new community of a celebrated, yeah, you know, the, the therapy in it. I mean, we're here talking about it, but when you experience it in real time, you know, it's very deep watching young people break down, watching their emotional leverage of like, you know, coming to the cycle of like, yeah, I can't believe I just said that, but that is me. Like having that reflection, you know. So I think when we talk about, you know, uh, back to the source, we really like to talk about the transformative power within hip hop culture which we know that when a kid has gone through that process, that's their new lifeline. They're transformed, they're re-energized, they know they belong to a louder voice and a collective, a voice of advocacy, a voice that you know, pushes them to even go on to lead and create their own you know, experiences. And, and Gilbert, you would be a, a perfect example of, of the answer to my question, I think, because when I met you, um, like I said, you were, you were a, a manager, and now you're a journalist, a archivist, a lecturer, someone that travels has traveled to the U.S. multiple times. Um, talk about your own evolution as someone who was a part of a program, found your voice and the means to be able to be heard. I guess one of the most important thing that hip hop culture gives you are the options. Um, in Uganda, where where you grew up, especially when you're studying in um, in high school or education system you are limited to about five professions. You know, you go through the, the education system and you're like, oh, I'm gonna be a doctor or a lawyer or a teacher. And that is what I was like after my high school. So uh, when I joined into the program, what I found was things like poetry or emceeing, uh, even photography. And for me, I, I come from a background uh, of a family that is like elite people, you know, doctors, uh, or engineers, so when I told them that I want to pick up photography, it was even something that they really didn't know that it could you know, make sense or you know, create an income or become a, an actual career to me. And so for me, uh, I've used it as a point of you know, connecting to other youth. You know. uh, right now, I, I am employed through photography. I go every July to Congo to teach. Um, um, a group of young people between, you know, 25 to almost 40. Uh, this year you, you find 15, the other year they get excited and then you find a class of almost 40 people who would like to uh, find means of expression or telling their own stories. So um, it becomes, uh, you, when, you, when you start, you know, engaging, you get all these options where you at least now get to have a chance where you'll be like, this is um, a tool that I want to pick up and then you know, start expressing myself. So I know that uh, part of the reason why you all are in the country, um, at least 
uh, Bob and, and Gilbert, is because you all were just performing yesterday at the Trinity Hip Hop Festival, which is an international gathering of hip hop artists, um, but who are also really rooted in this idea of social justice and activism. Can you, can you talk to us a little bit, because most of the folks in the room are not necessarily aware about the work that's happening around the world, either that you, that you heard about yesterday or that you've witnessed yourselves in your own work and travels. Uh, the beauty of hip hop culture, if this is the time you, you, know, you actually get in to get this dialogue for the first time, is this ability to bring people together, its ability to seek justice collectively, and its ability to give people the power to speak out. So when you come from communities where there's censorship, where you have no access, where you find no value, where you're disenfranchised and no one thinks about you, there's this voice and a platform that comes through this hip hop communication, you know, that everyone gravitates to. So we were just at Trinity International Hip Hop Festival representing Uganda there, but we met our brothers from Cuba, our brothers from Russia, you know, uh, Costa Rica, you know, I mean, there were, there were a lot of people from different places, but it was so interesting that the energy, even during our podcast, you know, reflected so many similarities in within the struggles that we encounter in our communities. You know, our brothers from Cuba talked about a lot of these limitations that would just would relate to what's happening in Uganda. And so you find that even in within that conversation, given that opportunity to participate, we are learning, you know, from other places, other stories. But not only learning, taking the affirmations, you know, that we know that there's people who share the struggle, these are the tools they're using. Maybe we could use those, those kind of tools that they're using to employ them into the work we're doing in, in different places. And so the magic that happens, then they're like, when are you coming to Cuba? And then we're like, when are you coming to Uganda? <laughs> you know, and that relationship is developed. But that's really the power that hip hop culture has given us beyond what you see in entertainment, beyond what you see on your television here in the media when you see people rapping. I have a big advocacy about I don't like rappers. Because to me, hip hop is beyond rap. My experience of hip hop culture has nothing to do with just the act of rapping. Rapping is just something you can have fun with and put on a, on a shelf over there and go on. Whether it's got energy or not, you don't know. But when you get into hip hop culture and you meet all of these brothers and sisters, and you tune into that energy, it just puts you in a place where you actually want to stand for something and want to be about a community that does something progressive for the country, for the nation, for the world. One thing about hip hop should, uh, one thing about hip hop you should know, I think currently today is the biggest youth advocacy platform for preserving humanity. Say more, what does that mean? Uh, when I say preserving humanity, you know, we see our elders crying out on what's happening to the next generation. We see our elders trying to find tools on how do we reach out to the young ones. We see the school system struggling with our children, you know? And you're wondering, well, where's the solution? But the solutions are among us and within us. But our perception on how, on how we've looked at those solutions is what hinders the progress of what we want as the outcome. So I feel like when hip hop culture, communities, start to mobilize and teach and educate our young people the value of the moral construct that we have lost, uh, the foundational respect that we have lost, I, I, we, we will be moving and navigating towards that force of healing the full community, not just Uganda, not just DC, you know, but the entire world, because anywhere you travel and you find a hip hop community, it's a home for everyone. So even though you all are far out in the audience, does anybody have a, a question that you would like to yell out in the Kennedy Center? Because this might be your only opportunity to yell in the Kennedy Center. <laughs> anybody? All right, so, so I guess the, the last question I have for you all is about um, the showcase that we're gonna do today. Uh, so for folks who came out, because they were expecting just to hear music, thanks for being here for a part of a panel discussion. Can you talk to, to, talk to the audience a little bit about what is there about to experience? I believe what you're going to experience is not a performance. I know usually we come out of perform as artists. You know, I, I spoke about this uh, when I was in Trinity. I say sometimes when we use the term artists, we limit ourselves because the energy in which we move is bigger than us. 
you know, and I feel like when people come out to participate, you must always invite them to be a part of that bigger energy versus than just a spectator and energy. You know, so what you're going to experience is our journey as a family. All of us have grown together with each other. You know, he's in, you know, Brooklyn. I'm in Kampala. You know, Brother Mazi is in D.C., but we are always 360 connected. And, like, look at us here today. You know, this is the power of hip-hop culture in its full definition. You know, always providing platforms, always creating access. But that is the transformative power you're going to experience that allows us to always be a part of community building, community construct. I mean, the Kennedy got us out here for the same reason. You know, the work that happens in the community. You know, so I think that that's where it all lies. The experience today is about celebrating a community, celebrating a story, and really sharing the energy of love for each other and continuing to say that love wins. It's love, peace, unity, and having fun, man. That's hip hop, you know, and that's and that's what we want to demonstrate on the stage, and at the same time, invite all the ancestors to to flow through us, so you know we can we can give you that energy, you know, because this art is given to us, and we give it to you, you know. That's what it is. It's just a it's just a natural flow. That's all I can explain it. Yeah. Well, I'm not going to be part of the performers, but. I I know for a fact that what you're about to see uh some of the most powerful stories that you know come from from my country that uh also that come from you know the community that brother Okai comes from so as he you know performs with his djembe that energy that you know will come out is is not only just a sound but you know all these stories that he's traveled and the experiences that uh he's been able to to achieve so and I'll also it's going to is also going to be my opportunity to document you know history as uh the first ever you know young people to come out from Uganda you know and perform uh at Kennedy Center this is a huge opportunity for you know for us uh, as a community as a, a foundation or the organization And, you know, the other beautiful thing is that Brother Okai knocked on it. It says that the ancestors, you know, and I've been, you know, having a beautiful conversation about the voices of the ancestors and how we have to listen to them and acknowledging the fact that we are a living dream of our ancestors. What we're doing today is what they would all like to do if they were here. And so in their name and in their spirit, we actually manifest and, and, and pass on his gifts he also said that these are not our gifts, they are to be shared. So we're here to do that. And looking at the, tradi uh, the traditional instruments uh, that we have in the house today, we also have two other guests that you, you know, you'll see with us performing. You know, we have Brother Chinobe, you know, a world-renowned traditional instrument player who's uh, heard about, you know, hip-hop showing up at the Kennedy. He's seen our work everywhere. You know, he's played with great acts that you, you know, think about. But it's like, I'll come and share my love. Thanks for the work you're doing. That's hip-hop. You know what I'm saying? Giving thanks and gratitude and celebrating each other's successes. So that's what we're going to do, celebrate with you and share a story or two. So, I know I said that was my last question, but sorry. Uh, how can people support the work that you're doing, whether that is following your social media channels, whether that is um, getting involved with work you're doing in North America, or even being able to connect with organizations in Uganda to be able to come. Because I know that's how we got involved. Literally, I got an invitation by someone who was in the cab of a friend of mine who drove a cab who said, you should come to Uganda. And I said, how are we going to get to Uganda? And we found the money and made it happen. And now, seven years later, we're here presenting you at the Kennedy Center. H how can people get involved in the work that you're doing in Uganda and the work you're doing in New York? Uh, you could get involved by, uh, of course, uh, looking us up. And uh, we invite people who want to teach. We invite people who want to support the platforms that we have on the ground. Teach what? Uh, of course, teach leadership development, uh, teach uh, all creative uh, facilitated programs. But leadership is key with each program because we like to emphasize on developing leaders who are going to transform tomorrow. 
So you could teach a dance class, you could teach a journalist class, a photography class, a fashion class. Uh, I mean, we go farming, you know. Uh, there, there's so many things we invite because we believe the community we are serving is a whole community, not just a compound. Oh, they're singers, they do that. No, we are full community, so we invite learning spaces. So if you have a learning spaces you could offer, you know, talk to us. Uh, if you got a program you feel like you want to partner with hip hop culture, you know, talk to us. Uh, I mean, there's so many things we're doing, but you could look us up at uh, uh, Bavubuka. You know, we're big on Facebook. That's our biggest platform we're using. So when you go to Facebook and put in Bavubuka All Stars, you'll be able to actually reach us in, in, in so many ways. Or you could actually email me at silas at B-A-V-U-B-U-K-A dot org. And the spelling's in your program. Yeah, like my brother said, if if you if you're a teacher, um, a principal, um, uh, you know someone that got a hookup at a college, and you need them to come through and do a hip hop workshop, then you know holla at bavubuka dot org, and we'll come through and and see what we can you know you know what kind of art we can ex express through you know through what through what talents that we have. You know we're willing to go through you know come to anywhere. We're willing to go through any state, any country any continent come through and spread our love you know and um yeah we, we're trying to build leaders because that's what we need for the future generation how can people support your work gilbert um so uh first and foremost we'll have uh, at the back at the back end we have a table that has a few merchandise of uh, of the young people that we work with and uh, also a few prints of some of my work that i've been able to to document um also on social media, you can also look us out at uh, UG Hip Hop Archivist. We also have a blog of uh, our work, which is Bavubuka Community. Blogspot. Uh, the flyers will be over here, over there at the back, in case you don't get, um, you know, the spelling. We'll have some flyers uh, so that you can actually uh, get a direct con a connection with us. Can we get these gentlemen a round of applause? All right, so for those of you that are regular attendees of the Kennedy Center, you know the Millennium Stage program actually normally starts at 6 o'clock, so we have about 20 minutes. So what I'd love to do is encourage you all to do something that you probably are not going to do, but I'm going to ask anyway, which is um, I'm a firm believer in the idea that people come to places because they're attracted by energy. So the people in this room, there are literally people in this room that you need to know. So for the next five minutes or so, I'd love to ask you to meet five people that you didn't come with. All right? Thank you, everybody.
tuning in each and every
Yeah, 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 yeah. X Fizz. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Huh? Fizz on that suit. A cipher. A place where people come together to express themselves in a form of a collective. A place where it defines 360 degrees of energy being shared. And the experience emanates an authentic feeling and vibration that people get to experience for the first and last time. Welcome to the transformative experience and power of the cipher. The cipher comprises of components that unify, connect, educate, uplift, and elevate each individual that participates in its energy. Gifts. Gifts is one of those components found in a cipher, where young people use their various talents to be able to find ways to build, restore, reconnect, and reevaluate, also re envision the future of their communities. A lot of so much of Wisdom. The power of appreciating our ancestral contribution to our existence here, giving us the ability to be able to look back, to evaluate where we come from and how we could reflect to the future. Spirit, the power to experience transformative energy and watch it create among us a living experience that gives us the opportunity to see beyond the physicality. <laughs> Unity, the power of appreciating community through shared values, understanding that our differences make us stronger and that when we come together, we are able to create new things that we can actually be able to promote among our children, our communities, our mothers, our elders, that strengthen the future that we all want to contribute. <laughs> Gratitude. Gratitude is fundamental in seeing young people who apply themselves in a cipher develop an appreciation and a love for a community that they serve. You know, and when it's grounded in the concept of them seeing that the community appreciates them, it elevates the dynamic for everyone involved to be able to see how they serve one another. Community. 
a place where service is driven to show how we all connect with each other, where both the young and the old are able to envision the world that we all want to live in and choose to make those profound choices of contributing to humanity. Voice, the most authentic gift given to humanity, giving us the capacity to be able to represent ourselves, our identity, and speak out to tell our own stories. The future of the cipher lies between each practitioner who engages in its elements and is able to explore its attributes and how they contribute to he or she in how they see and value their expression. So the future of the cipher will always be a spiritual ground to channel and reconnect people to the divine force within them that allows them to manifest and create during their time here on planet Earth. <laughs> Let's give a hand of applause for the young people that you're watching because it's, it, it, it's for them, you know. We're here to share the love, but it's for them we do what we do, you know, is uh, bringing them on the front line. Uh, but today we have a beautiful show. Uh, we have beautiful friends, some from New York, uh, collective of us from Uganda, you know. But what brings us here is to show the love and reminding and encouraging, you know, the elders here to continue pursuing this notion of feeding the young people with the wisdom necessary to go forward. You know, that's, that's where we want to stem, you know, and dedicate our show to, you know, because we are starting to see the need of us coming together, young and old, to be able to be a part of the solution. And saying that, you know, I'm privileged today. I come from an organization, as you've heard, called Bavubuka All Stars. Uh, we are the Bavubuka Foundation, and we're in the business of restoring dignity and transforming lives. And we do that through the art of indigenous hip-hop culture. Indigenous hip-hop culture, to be an indigenous MC, it means you are one with the land, you are one with the people, and you use your voice as a tool to encourage, uplift, and unify. And you do not apply yourself in promoting, you know, just consumerism, but you use your expression for liberation. You know, this is what has landed us into the space to share and build. I would like to introduce my brother who's on stage with me. He goes by the name of Chinobe. Now, to have him here with me, he's, play, he's played a lot of big, big, big stages, you know. I'm, I'm humbled to have him here showing love and saying because the voice of the young people is coming through the Kennedy, I want to come out and support and stand in solidarity of the message. So let's give him a hand of applause for... When I was younger, I would hear sounds of the village. 
I would hear sounds that reminded me of little paths that I would travel in, you know, as a child. Growing up between the village and the urban life, there was always these sounds that reminded you of what your elders say, of what the community sounded like. And that's why we wanted to open up for Brother Chinobe to bring the community in the building, to bring the voices of our ancestors in the building, to bring the spirit and the sound that we're here to celebrate in the building. So we thank you for being a part of the sound and I'll let him now play out as we continue to hear and listen to our ancestors, to our spirit that is arriving as we continue on to this performance. come on stage, I feel like the drum should sound as part of this rhythm. As you're listening, I just want you to think about one thing. The gift of life. The gift of breath what it means to you. Through many trials, many tribulations as we all journey this is the medicine to the soul that keeps our spirit in reflection of being encouraged not to give up but to stand up So someone was asking the definition of look of flow. You might be reading it in there. But look of flow is a Swahili word that means languages. And the back soundtrack of this look of flow movement is encouraging young people to preserve language especially our indigenous dialects to encourage them to use them because they're the best tools to use to communicate the messages of our ancestors so it's been very important to us as part of our hip-hop mission to encourage language and preservation through music so what you're about to witness today or experience is the voice of hip-hop from Uganda. And yes, experiencing the language widely spoken in Uganda, known as Luganda. But in Uganda alone, we have about 50-something dialects, which means a colorful country of languages. And as they've been dying out, 
Hip Hop has given us the opportunity to encourage the, bring back the language, bring back the spirit. And so right here, we're gonna kick it off by giving you a sample of what Luca Flow sounds like. Avana kulugudo wemba yitako Moyo gwange mubido basanga mwana gugita na vo Ba mama kukubo esala basavo Mukono guo mutonzi gukele ino kunsi guba kwa teko Evi nitu vyansi ya moyo Evi omu vidi vitu lita vemi kwano kunsi vatuleka wo Ngombe ye magombe Jirombe cha mirambo Mukampala bulibu chozika Babo vagenda kutata maziga Gundi ya ninye kulukendo reba yimba ama zemi ni moje Subi ya kuluo kusisinka no lino patika no kutuka na we roli ni nyamu chire Tunuri dali mochi yungu na sesa musika aga kavira Mochi yungu watute zempande kabula mumu yo vienda vevija Ateke ne chifo awoku lira vwe nchusa Wachida vika evye gulunze vyo kavye ninze Luka bambu nye viko mi vya keyene vinzinze Gama zangande kukubo ninye kulukendo na yenga jenda gambi dengi na yobe kanyo, obute vovo genda Sibi ama zanyo, tunuri raba tuze kwe Bwebe tunyenya, sangane kukubo Ninye kulu gendo, na yenga jenda gambi dengira Na yobe kanyo, obute vovo genda Sibi ama zanyo, tunuri raba tuze Find me on the side of the road Scared of where I'm going cause I'm not Fully in in the know of what might be there but I'm traveling anyways. So to break the fear, I say a prayer for the blessings of the ancestors to go before me so that I can find the resilient energy to make it through. Let's give a hand of applause to Brother Chinobe, Brother Okai. Thank you for being a part of this experience. Thank you, thank you. <laughs> so, I'm going to be your host as the evening goes forward. But like I said, we came here to build community. We came here to bring each other into a spirit of experiencing something that's a bit bigger than a performance because we want everyone's heart, everyone's soul to be a part of what we're doing. Language is a powerful thing. The spirit and the energy within it fully communicates. So this song is dedicated to all the mothers in the building, those who understand the struggle of raising a generation and the supportive fathers who stand in solidarity to take care of our generation. When I was growing up, my father always told me, through example, through good times and bad times, my strength developed from observing the resilience in within the family capacity. But the way it sounded like would always be in a form of melody and song because as an African people, song is our rhythm, and we use it main often. But these are some of the riddles, the songs that I remember growing up, that I carry with me forward. And you tune in and go. Anyoyo, 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 akuva kumutunda, kumutunda kuriko. Kumutunda kuliko Ti anyoyo, anyoyo, anyoyo akuba kumutunda Kumutunda kuliko simbie gwire, simbie gwire muwala wambaire Baire ya genda nganada, aligendo kudanga luwedo kwa vya Anyoyo, anyoyo, anyoyo akuba kumutunda Kumutunda kuliko simbie gwire, simbie gwire muwala wambaire Baire ya genda nganada, aligendo kudanga luwedo kwa vya 
See, when we were growing up, there's so many stories we heard. But these are the sounds that carry on to our energy and our spirit. And when we perform them and bring them back and share them with communities and people, it reminds us that there's a greater force, a part of us, that continues to guide us. So for you who's here wondering, you know, if you came out for a hip-hop show, usually you, you know, there's a lot of energy. This is indigenous hip-hop culture. So we stem our root into bringing the spirits versus than just trying to be cool on stage and reciting. Because it's important for you to receive and in turn give. So the reciprocation is mutual. Another one goes, Nalinjo Chagonja, Chitange Naveri, Nankuvo Moko, Negun City Kidiza, Busongu Vamajima, Busoke Dakumutwe, Nevuvu no Moviri, Malo Kurie Yite, Simale Kurie Yite, Katungu Ranata, Katungu Lutate, Dola, Dosa, Dola, Dumba, Dola, Dosa, Dola, Dumba, Dola, Dosa. Anyo yo, anyo yo, anyo yo akuba kumutunda, kumutunda kuli kon simbiye guire, simbiye guire mu ala wamba ire, baire ya genda ngana da, ali gendo kudanga luwe do kwabia. Thank you. So tonight. Like I said, Bavubuka all stars. You know, Bavubuka means youth. The word Bavubuka in Luganda language means youth. And when we say all star, this is the vision that every young person shines. It's not just an all star for fashion. It's an all star to remind you that you got your own star. And when you can look at it and point at it and be able to polish it, you can shine. So keep working on polishing your star. Talking about stars... I have another beautiful sister. You know, we started together. You know, we're still together. We're still pushing the energy together, but blessed to have her here today. You know, a part of our performance and, and, and bringing this energy of what we came here to share with the people at the Kennedy Center. So I don't want to take up a lot of time, but I want to invite the one and only African queen, Sister Chila, all over from Uganda, Kampala. <laughs> you know, when we were still younger, we were in the same rap group, you know, and we had a lot of dreams and aspirations. The world took us apart. Like I said, today was about story and sharing, but today we had the Kennedy Center serving the people and doing work together. So much love and thank you for being here. Thank you. Thank you so much. Um, like I said, um, we started out together. I wasn't a musician. I have a background in uh, computer science, and that's what I studied. And when I told my mom when I was a kid that I wanted to be a musician, she freaked out. And uh, so I wasn't really encouraged to do it, but until I met Babaluku, and um, he encouraged me so much, and he's given me so many platforms, including this one. Um, all the way from Uganda, and I now live in Washington, D.C., um, but we'll always reconnect. We're working on several projects together between uh, him, me, and Chinobe, the, the guy that was playing the Kora. Um, we all have that history from many years back, and it's so amazing to find ourselves here in this space. It's, it feels sacred. Um, I'm trying to tune my guitar while you guys are. <laughs> um, so this first song that I'm going to do for you is a song about unity and peace, and um, it's in my native language. Um, Baba is from central Uganda, and the, the rest of the guys are from central Uganda, but I'm from eastern Uganda, and we speak different languages. We have 35 languages in my country, and... Um, the language that I'm going to teach you a little bit of, then you can tell your friends that you speak some of it. It's called Lugisu. And we're going to sing two words together. Um, the first word is Hube. The second word is Atuela. 
So we're going to say, Ube Atuela. Wow, that sounds so beautiful. Um, I hope those voices ring out with what's happening out there in the world and all that positive energy goes out there and encourages those that are hateful and negative to um, be more positive and um, to love one another. Can I have the guitar in my monitor? Shibala shefe shibu binabi Bandu bakana wele bakana buyeti Bandu benza tinu suba ini butambi Nefesi kwa ambasa barife hufurisa Unyala shiba la shosi Bandu ba fidi kafe fesi Niba hauka nisabi la ibosi Fe fesi ta unyala kwa kakako Hube, 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 hube atuela This is where you join me Hube atuela Come on, hube atuela. One more time, hube atuela. Thank you. Thank you. That song is dedicated to our ancestors, to my ancestors that I always feel are with me. Whew. Okay. <laughs> and um, in the spirit of ancestors, this next song is in Luganda, which is a language that we share with Baba and Chinove. And I'm going to invite them on the stage that um, we can sing it together. Um, it's a song about this African mother woman who wakes up very early in the morning and... Um, She's so stressed out, she's so fatigued, but she has to get up because the burden of raising the family lies on, solely on her shoulders. 
and um, it's called Colesente, which means um, I have to go out and make this money. Because if I don't, I'm the only person that everybody else is relying on and um, everything will collapse. Chenyo, so cooking and do kunava, ne malan and sako kuchai. Funamani Abana beva no mami yeva say. Om chala rachi seva caneda. If you collab when bivaco, Anyana waited abaganda vanganava nam winda. Kangende mpakase Kolesente Kangende mpakase Kolesente Wayo manyiko Jotuloto wa manyo Kusinga sukali Ubamata ubabyo nango vikase Sente was in a jar, Jack and Danny, Akaleko, Nagas, and you can't let Wumoli de Muko, Oblam watch Seda. Oh, Kang and Day. Colesente. Oh, Kang and Day. Sente, oh, 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 it's the new come out in Nagam Petemu in Nakuyanga, see Abulicho, Bencola, and Abosi Babulicho, Ah, Nani, in Chabananda, Bananda, be Cabananda, be the can never care, can never care, can never care, can never care. Kangende mpakase Kulesente Kangende mpakase Kulesente Sente Wayo manjiko Jotulotu wa manyo Osinga sukali Bamata Babyo nango vikase Sente wazinaja Thank you. <laughs> I'm going to do one more song for you guys. Um, once again, my name is Chila, and uh, it's spelled T-S-H-I-L-A. I've come a long way with Babaluku. Um, we're growing old on each other. <laughs> and um, a lot of these songs are inspired by the same history, the same story. Um, I've been a part of the Bavubuka Foundation, In and Out. Um, we met in 20, 2006, I believe, and um, 
and then we went separate ways, but we've always been uh, part of the same movement and part of the same heart. This last song is a song called Point of No Return, and um, it's in reference to where we are because it almost feels like we've gone off the cliff and looking back, especially in terms of climate change, there might be a point of no return. So we need to kind of think about what we're doing and what we're leaving behind for our kids, um, for the planet. Thank you. Thank you. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you so much. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you. Let's give another hand of applause for Chila. The gift, the spirit, the love. And as a family, you know, we're continuing on. And now we're going to take the spirit of Haiti, Africa in the building and bring our spirit of ancestors that journey with us to be here. Thank <laughs> you. 
from Africa to all over the world, the spirit remains the same. And we must never forget, but always remember to remember. How you guys doing? My name is Okai. And um, thank you. Yes, the drum is a language. It has its own communication. It is used for many things. And the drum, um, like us, has gone through a journey from Africa to the Western Hemisphere. And um, I am a student of the drum. This next song, this song that's coming up is called Journey. And we've all, we all on our journey trying to find out who we are in this world and how can we make it better before we leave. I hope you enjoy the song, Journey. Yeah. Ain't no time to feel pressure, pressure, pressure. Yeah. When you're looking for the treasure, microphone check, I never fold under pressure. When I do it my way, you're gonna have to feel pleasure. But bye bye bye, big up to my peoples and best I who don't take no foreign answer when their pockets are dry. Put me on a path on a yellow brick road so I can access fake wizard while he won't let my people grow. And I'ma use all my lifelines before I let go. And I'ma keep on rising to the creator says so. Put me on another journey to make my discovery. Ain't no time to feel pressure. Put me on another journey to make my discovery. When you're looking for the treasure. And it won't be material Let the wisdom continue to grow spiritual Oh, the message is so powerful If you understand how life is so beautiful Oh, put me on another journey to make my discovery Ain't no time to feel pressure Put me on another journey to make my discovery When you're looking for the treasure And it won't be material Let the wisdom continue to grow spiritual Oh, the message is so powerful If you understand how life is so beautiful Yo, huh Free your mind and break off the tutelage The cognitive dissonance The way we live, we ain't slaves no more We in a new century We have the power to change our own history I know you were aware, don't act like you don't know about it And if you don't know, then you need to go and know about it The problem is that we don't even know we have a problem And if you don't know you have a problem, how you gonna solve it? Some people know we have a problem, but don't wanna solve it Cause they're making a profit off the problems we have it. The philosophy is twisted for us to set it straight Sometimes you have to make Make a move, you can't rely on fate. Break out the show that you were born to believe in. The open-minded always have a better reason. And the closed-minded will plot so that you stay in. Like a tree the victims in that stadium. Yo, put me on another journey to make my discovery. Ain't no time to feel pressure. Put me on another journey to make my discovery. When you're looking for the treasure, 
and it won't be material. Let the wisdom continue to grow spiritual. Oh, that message is so powerful. If you understand how life is so beautiful, oh, put me on another journey to make my discovery. Ain't no time to feel pressure. Put me on another journey to make my discovery. When you're looking for the treasure, and it won't be material. Let the wisdom continue to grow spiritual. Oh, that message is so powerful. If you understand how life is so beautiful, follow me. <laughs> Thank you. Journey, yes. It's a pleasure to be here sharing energies with you guys. This next song is called Dead Prophets, dedicated to the ancestors, the, Af the African ancestors that went through trials and tribulation during colonialism, the ones who passed away during the Middle Passage, the indigenous people who passed away in the Americas, European people who passed away during the abolition era. This, this all goes out to them because without the ancestors, we're not, we're not anything. You know, we're, we're, we're trees with no roots and trees with no roots don't bear any fruit. So in order to know yourself, you have to know your ancestors. You have to channel them in order to move forward. So um, I'm going to need a little call and response on this one. I forgot about that. I'm going to need a little help. I'm going to need a little reciprocation with the energy. So I'm going to say, I'm out for dead prophets to represent me. And you guys say, say what? <laughs> you guys that? I'm out for dead prophets to represent me. Say I'm out for dead prophets to represent me. Say I'm out for dead prophets to represent me. Say I'm out for dead ancestors to represent me. <laughs> I'm out for dead prophets to represent me. Say I'm out for dead ancestors to represent me. I'm out for dead prophets to represent me. I'm out for dead ancestors to represent. You guys got it. All right, you can drop it, DJ. Yeah. To my Haitian ancestors. Yo. I'm out for dead prophets to represent me. I'm talking M. King, Malcolm X, Selassie, I, and Garvey. Who gave strength to the sun and the moon? Great minds, who came and went too soon? Yo, the grass night is all night, so get right. All my dogs howling to the moonlight. To the dead ancestors by the bonfire. When I say fire, you say more fire. We bring food to the hungry, money to the poor. Technology to record, ammunition for the war. See them talking about the movement, but they really walking for. Time to be snitching when the revolution is born. Might have to lead or follow, I ain't find out yet. But I'm here to get it going, son, whatever the set. You might see me on your continent donating my time or doing a free concert donating my rhyme. I'm out for dead prophets to represent me. I'm out for dead prophets to represent me. I'm out for dead prophets to represent me. I'm out for dead ancestors to represent me. I'm out for dead prophets to represent me. I'm out for dead prophets to represent me. I'm out for dead prophets to represent me. I'm out for dead ancestors to represent me. Yo, I'm doing what I want an MC to be. Not waiting for no magazine to tell me who that be. Word. My ancestors left too many examples. So I write them down and recite them over samples. Natural diggers, man, I'm digging your style. Turn this joint into profit to make each other want to smile. Yo, we turn nothing to something, something into a dove. And that's the all that want to show old Kai love. Word. To my dude, Junie, who died too soon. Walking in the hood, last thing he heard was boom. I do this for the chains, put them suckers in the disc Cause when we start the revolution, all they probably do is snitch Hard time headed people up in the biz Controllers of genocide, trying to kill all the kids The spirits, the angels, the holy ghosts and the saints Touching your soul from afar, making you want to faint I'm out for dead prophets to represent me I'm out for dead prophets to represent me I'm out for dead prophets to represent me I'm out for dead ancestors to represent me I'm out for dead prophets to represent me I'm out for dead prophets to represent me. I'm out for dead prophets to represent me. I'm out for dead ancestors to represent me. Let's give another hand of applause to Brother Okai. Okay. 
The experience of what's happening today is just to show you how globally hip hop unifies and encourages, uh, encourages us to build cultural spaces and understandings within and among ourselves to be stronger individuals and to share a greater, a greater message, you know, above all. But what we're tuning into right now is the experience once again of what we call the Luga Flow movement, indigenous hip hop, you know, from Uganda, representing East Africa. You know, we came here all the way from Uganda to show love at, at the Kennedy, being given a platform to talk about the work that we do and how it impacts young people on a day to day and for the future. And so, none other than to really, you know, be able to take you on another quest, it's gonna be myself, you know, sharing once again story uplifting and bringing us into the space to be a part of this so dj rbi and brother okai if you come back to the drum so indeed if you travel and yeah, you know where you're going and you think about it often this one's for you Olusin and Mochido, then Kure Cabo, then Pocamera, Goche, Vasa Tulo, and Savalo Gaba, Budi Bukera, and the Sala Yalu Gendo, and the Mochido, then Kure Cabo, then Pocamera, Goche, ah, Gray, Tedo Kure Cabo, Lucing and Zachido, Mubia the Mempita, Lucy Seva Catulo, Mandino Colaca Santa Vana Vasome, took it as a chido to Choco Pula Mugole, the way Zamo went towards a jet of food. I'm a Zimadala Nino Kue Virunji, Evido Yankula Kawa Yimbo Yimba, then Kusavida Mumba to Kume Mumi, Olu Sing and Amochino, then Kule Kawa, then Fukamida, Goche, Basotulo, Savalu Kaba, Budi Mukera, oh, and a Sala Yanu Gendo, then Amochino, then Kule Kawa, then Fukamida, Goche, Basotulo, Savalu Kaba, Budi Mukera. In a sala ya lukendo, the words are kubisera, the twadia kuma peda, the zenkota resabula, twadia kumiera, the words are nekubana, natala yokana, umukalanda akuzeta chakaba, umo yon pudida, nanjagalo mudelako, uyimbida kayimba muchidonga mueva so to lo, rendu koma wonja kudana kagato, na yaka gede ke kanyini zenga kati tawe, nenda muchido, nen kule kawo, nenfu kamira, gocheva so to lo, Sabalukaba, Budi Bukera, oh, in the sala ya lugendo, in the mochido, in kule kawo, in fukamira, goche masoturo, Sabalukaba, Budi Bukera, go, go, go. Uh, first I sneak into the music and get the stardom. Get attention to these population problems. Lift the lid on these politics and hypocrites. Set traps for these fake thugs like pyramids. Put a plug on the media mass hysteria. Putting our kids' minds on the wrong criteria. I ain't hearing you, definitely ain't fearing you. I'm cold and numb to your truth like Siberia. Too late to change the system, gotta create our own. Join us, my homies, we about to bring this earth home. We need to take it further than the microphone. Everyone is beefing over land they don't own. Whoa. Nuclear weapons are pointed at the abyss. And if you don't have missiles to war with, then you a terrorist. My cap is coming full to the side. Gotta yield. The name is Old Kai. Step into my danger field. Whoa, Aye. whoa, whoa. <laughs> yes, That's man. love when we out Indigenous here. Indigenous hip hop. You yeah. know, we want to exhibit the energy of what hip hop is do, defining beyond, you know, sometimes people are like, Yo, what language are you ra rapping in? You know, like it matters. You know what I mean? Music is just a language and we communicate through that. And you can feel the energy if you can feel the love. It's really the essence we're trying to promote. So with DJ RBI hooking us up, much love. Thank you for coming out. We're going to take you to the next, you know, next rendition. Brother Oka, if you could play a on this one, that would be great. If you know where you're from and you're proud of where you're from, this song is dedicated to you. It's called I'm from Africa. Ah, uh, one, two, three. Ah, uh, I represent one out of many, the medicine when I said it, understand it's for my people to get it. The Zion train, I can see it coming. Brothers traveling across the border, revolution taking over city to city. From ghetto to ghetto, this freedom music banging like middle. We call it heaven, ghetto, rebel music, speaking for our people. Telling these stories that have never been told. Our kids will grow up in Gulu's tribe, praying for Uhuru. 
Better tomorrow by ending the sorrow. Inspired by the spirits of my ancestors, I'm breaking the struggle. My get a crew, like of you, it like invisible kids. Until these rebels get God, I got a reason to speak. We say, Mama Africa. No matter where I go, I got still let them know I represent where I'm from. Mama Africa. The land of the original man is black and beautiful. I love it where I'm from. Mama Africa. We get us this ghetto, but don't my ghetto children still smile without a dime. Mama Africa. I let my ancestors express as preferred when I scream. We ain't stopping with this liberation, spit the rebel music. Forget making the dial, I'm set to free my generation. But we will cut the foundation. Ready to take a beef across town and scare the confrontation. It's freedom fighters, music, screaming power to the people. From Brooklyn, New York, there goes down in Soweto. Africa, Africa, Africa. Rise, time to reach for the prize. We break loose out of the ghetto, the city switch revolution. Pancock, my people say we want. So if freedom is coming tomorrow, get it together, my brother, we gotta go. The Zion train is coming Better get ready for this exodus To a higher bound we're moving To our promise paradise No matter where I go I got to let them know I represent where I'm from Mama, Mama Africa. Africa The land of the original man It's black and beautiful I love it where I'm from Mama, Mama Africa. Africa We get us this ghetto But don't my ghetto children Still smile without a dime Mama Africa I let my ancestors present with felt When I scream all power to the people So once again We'd like to thank you for participating In what we're doing And celebrating the language of hip-hop And communication Plus the indigenous inspiration to keep the voices going forward. So DJ RBL, we're gonna go to the next one and set it off and bring the energy back. But before we do, let's do something right quick. But like, before, before we go there, I got something to say. So you can hold it back a little bit. Yeah, yeah, let's, 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 let's wait. Uh, while I'm in this motion, I get to understand that we are all communicating in a language we know. You know, and some of the languages we don't know, sometimes we don't take a journey to experiment and experience them. You know, and I'm just remembering that Chila was up here earlier saying that, you know, I'm from the East. So I want to take you to the Central. You know, there's a powerful word we use in the Central. It's a word that symbolizes, you know, unification. And that word is called Obumu. Let me hear you say Obumu. 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 You know, part of this practice is to share these languages. You know, if you walk out of here today and you say, hey, I met that brother from Uganda. He said his word name, Obumu, means unity. It's already power. You know, we've shared that with you. You know, and I think that that's why we really participate in extending the, you know, the indigenous context of our practice. Because it brings these languages among us. Regardless, you could be from India. You could be from China. As long as we're in this language, we're learning together, we're growing together, and we're affirming our direction together. So the next song coming up is a song I wrote with the children that I was mentoring. One day I took him to a studio because I felt like I work with these young people, but I've never done a gratitude song that represents our energy. So what you're about to hear, enjoy it, feel it. It's in a language, you know, of Luganda, from Uganda. And the song really means I'm still here for a reason. It's still, you know, it means I'm still here for a purpose. So tune into that message, tune into that energy, and let's go together as we rise. Yes, you're welcome. Feel free. We, we, we came to share. Beautiful. It's a prayer. You know, sometimes we humble ourselves when we're going through tough situations. And we're looking for some form of intervention. And some of the cling going to say we're hopeful. And it sounds like this in my language. Bono bola mo go tu yitamu Buchanka abya Zebanji menda ba mo chivuka Bachadaga Esala basa ba mo mazima Tezina ulira And then they cry out to heaven Bobo oli mo kulu chita fede edo ulira Mbera jendi mwena kwensuza mo mazika Mkami na ba toto mo naba shule njala Ba mama kumidala ba nyuke ngalenza Everyone who knows what's going on in the city is asking themselves. There's so many questions going on among us and how do we survive? What are we going to do? How are we going to fight? What do we do? And then they cry out. Bobodi mukulu chita fede do wudida. Mbeda jendi mwena kwensu za mumazika. Mkavida batoto mwena basule njala. That is what they say. Ah, akete mochido ye kuma vivi na asaba. Tata le da ba na ba wonyo sule njala yega yidi da mumoyo binji biyala ba bulizigeri tonya subi ya kumalako 
Kola Polo, Luke and the Rally Kodo Kanyo, but Tavania Bagam, Sia Muzanyo, Munako Namuja Dela, when Nava Leka War, we know for when you were when you're Oxula Kukuo, but for Woku Beda and Pisa, no moon to Bulamo, Mutanaka Tonda Mugu Yakaya, when you're Naku, Alemoguru Jita Federo Mulida, and Beda Gentleman Naku and Susamo Maziga, Kavira Batoto, when Nava Sulenjala. Say, Mama Yanko in the Zanyo, Gandhi Motonyo, and Bella Jankuli Demo, Ha, Siam Zanyo, Bajivan Sakanadanyo, Gatanga Food Day, Akabanga Kamuko, and a dead Gurulita Day. Tibala was a Mikajali did Jacumida, Tibama Yanti Mushida Nalim, but is the one who met the woman for Yomunaku, Kuyimu say, Dumble and I will be there, Mumbozi Zakulu, but Mama Kukubo Kanaka Yimba come way, Abana Mugeto, you know, a souvenir way. Tibuchankavia Sebaji Menda Mamuchibuka. So many of us are still struggling. So many of us are still praying. So many of us are still waiting for an answer. You know, and so we keep on crying out. We keep on calling out for some higher force and divinity to intervene in our situation. So I dedicate this one to everybody here who knows their situation. You know. Everyone who knows where they've come from, and you still feel like you got a long way to go. You know, keep on your quest, keep on your journey. Keep loving that spirit that inspires you to stay strong and to be bold and to be able to call out and reach out for help in that time of need. This one's for you. Much love to Brother Okai once again. A much love to the young people in Uganda who inspire us to do the work in Africa all over. <laughs> much love to brother RBI. And of course, the beautiful words of life on the Kennedy. But this experience is allowing us to humble ourselves. And to close out, let's the next one right quick. I'm well out. So we close up. Indeed, indeed. So th let these sounds go with, with you home. Let the sounds of this closing go with your home. Of the children, of the love that we stand for. You know? Traveling man is one, the other. Can you play uh, the song that starts with O or Charlie Wolf? Traveling man, making him deaf. I want to close out with the sounds of the children. You know? I want to close out with the voice of the children because it's important. They brought us here. Our ancestors through them guided us here. So while we live in a stage and thank you to be a part of this, let them be the ones that bless you. Thank you for participating in our experience. Thank you for being a part of this journey of hip hop in Uganda. Thank you, a part of loving your children, your young ones, and seeing values and morals to move forward. So this one is for you. Anyone who supports the young children to grow, keep doing that. Keep on looking after them. Nurture them, feed them, give them the wisdom to move forward. You know, that's how I was able to go back to Africa and do the work. And the testimony of this experience comes from that understanding that our children are the future and their voices do matter. You know, so I'd like to thank you. A round of applause for you for being here and experiencing this. A round of applause for the team, you know, that came out of support. Thank you very much. We are the Bubuka Foundation from Uganda. You know, Brother Okai, Brother Chinobe, you know, Brother Gilbert or the camera, wherever you are, thank you for being a part of the experience. Sister Chila, thank you for being a part of this experience. DJ RBI, the sounds and the songs mean, regardless of what I've seen, I'm here for a reason. So hopefully you know you've been here for a reason today. And may you continue to live by your purpose. Thank you very much. Thank you, thank you, thank you. May God bless you. Yes. Mazi, Brother Mazi, come on. Brother Mazi, can't forget Brother Mazi. Thank you.